Minnesota Democrats say now is the time to take action to prevent that kind of gun violence. The DFL is taking control of both chambers in the state capitol in January. In recent years, efforts to pass gun control measures have failed. Now, as Caroline Cummings reports, that could change. Now that the DFL will have total control of the Capitol in January, the focus is not if, but when and how Democrats will see their priorities through. Issues that I think will be moving on quickly, choice, climate, gun violence prevention, and protecting democracy. Against the backdrop of two more recent mass shootings in America, Minnesota safety advocates are more hopeful than ever that there will be a change. So we're really excited, the sense of urgency to make a difference here mm -hmm. and save lives. Molly Lloyds and others in the Minnesota chapter of Moms Demand Action have called on the legislature to expand criminal background checks for all gun sales and transfers and approve extreme risk protection orders, which would allow a judge to temporarily ban a person from accessing firearms if deemed a harm to themselves or others. 20 states have passed some variation of this so-called red flag law. Our country has, um, has an epidemic of gun violence that really goes beyond other countries that we'd want to compare to. So addressing that is going to take multiple tools. Those measures blocked before in the Republican-led Senate. DFL Representative Dave Pinto, who's authored some of these bills in the past, says expect to see those efforts again. They're not going to prevent every instance of gun violence, um, but we do know from the states that have them that they do reduce the number of those gun deaths. The push, though, won't be without pushback. Rob Doerr, the vice president of the Minnesota Gun Owners Caucus, critical of these proposals, raising concerns about due process. It adds a lot of unnecessary burdens to law-abiding gun owners while not addressing any of the actual people who were worried about getting guns. Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. Under federal law, an individual must be 21 or older to purchase most firearms. But at 18, someone can purchase a shotgun, rifle, or semi-automatic weapon. Democrats want to raise that legal age to 21, with exceptions for hunting. 